Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and I'm back with a quick unboxing video on the TYT UV 8000D. A friend of mine, Doy Shipman, KE5MCA, recently purchased this radio. It's a handy talkie, but he purchased it for its crossband repeater function. The walkie has a standalone crossband repeat function. If you put it into crossband repeat, it becomes a crossband repeater, and it's bidirectional. I've never seen that in a walkie before, but hey, why not? So I did a quick unboxing video about it, and later on we'll do some follow-up videos as we put it into practical application and see how it does. We'll put it through its paces as it were. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you get something out of it. So here's the video. Let's take a look at this one. This is the TYT THUV8000D. Can you see it now? It's still in the plastic wrapper, which we're going to break into. Let's see what we've got on the box here. THUV8000D. The UV almost always invariably stands for UHF VHF. It has amateur handheld transceiver, dual band, dual display, dual standby, ultra high output power equals 10 watts. 10 watts. Battery capacity is 3,600 milliamp hours. That's an awful big battery, too, for a nice little walkie. 128 channels to store FM radio receiver and 25 channels. Okay, I don't know what that means. Let's reread it. 128 channels to store slash FM radio receiver and 25 channels. So maybe we can preset FM radio to 25 channels. CTCSS and DCS encoding and decoding and scanning. DTMF and remote kill stun function. Cross band repeater function? What? Cross band repeater? Could it be? Is it bidirectional? future projects will tell you these answers. Let's dive right in. Oh, there's a link on the box that says free software. Go to that link. Go to that link. Hmm. Hmm. Output power 10 watts. 144 to 148 megahertz. 420 to 500, 450 megahertz. So, hmm. 2 meters, 70 centimeter. Let's see what happens. Awesome. That's a nice looking uh, manual right there. Yeah. Ooh, pictures. I like pictures. Detail function and description. It looks like a pretty good manual. TYT usually does. Cross band repeater function operation instruction. Before using cross band repeater function, you should turn on this function via programming software. Please kindly note that you should read data from radio first when you program it. Turn on the crossband repeater via programming software. Operational function crossband repeater on. I'll put a link to this picture in the description. That's going to be coming in the future. All right, looks like we've got a body mic with an ear tube piece, uh, kind of a surveillance type situation. We've got our TYT verification. Oh, look at here. We've got a programming cable and software. Hopefully there's no need to download it. All right, we've got two antennas. One is a 19-inch SMA male dual band. Then we've got the shorter rubber ducky SMA male dual band. That was nice of them to include two antennas. And we've got the battery here. It's a TYT THUV8000D on the label. 7.4 volts, 3600 milliamp hours, 26.64 watt hours. Interesting. It's got some meat to it too, folks. It's got a little weight to it. All right, belt clip, screws on to the radio, not on to the battery. It's got the drop charger and the wall charger for the drop charger, AKA cradle charger. And here's the radio, ooh. 
It's got an ergonomic oval shape here. Let's put the battery on and see what the display looks like. Ooh, that clicked in very nice. We'll put the rubber ducky on for now. Please note it's August in Oklahoma. It's about 9,000 degrees in the shack today. It's not too bad. Tolerable. No voice prompt. Does show a dual display. Oh, I bet you heard that. Hmm. Turn the volume up here. I'm shocked I'm not getting some kind of beeping feedback. Power set to low. Squelch is three. Color. Must be a screen color option. Beep is turned off. Well, let's just turn it on and see what it sounds like. Well, that's why it's turned off. It's annoying. <laughs> of course it is. So we'll go back to beep. And we'll turn that right off. IDs, PTT ID, timeout timer, busy channel lockout, Vox, sensitivity probably, Roger, not Podger, if you knows. It's not too clear. But I tell you what, for a TYT walkie that I've never heard of, it feels really good in the hand. The typical orange button you always see is here on the side. This UV button right here switches us from the top band to the bottom band. That's the monitor. And there's the PTT. All right. Well, it's not a bad little radio. I'm glad uh, Mr. Shipman let me uh, unbox it. And uh, we're going to put it back together so that he can put it into practical application. And then we'll have a surprise video about that. So stay tuned, y'all. And uh, we'll see what we got. Now that you've seen the TYT THUV 8000D be unboxed, we'll have a future video when Doy Shipman, KE5MCA, puts it into practical application for a special surprise. Something really neat we're going to give it a shot at. So that's forthcoming someday in the future. And y'all remember Riker Kane. Look right there, Riker. How are you doing, buddy? Good. You're doing good? Are you going to be a ham radio operator like Paul Paul? And say, come here. Come up here to the microphone. Say, ham on, y'all. Ham on, y'all. <laughs> good job, buddy. All right. This is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, wishing y'all 73s. May all the good signals be yours. And... <laughs> Come on, y'all. <laughs>